I'm Troy Kirby with MLT News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. On Friday, January 29th, the Senate Health and Long-Term Care Committee gave a public hearing on Senate Bill 5203. The legislation focuses on state health partnerships with entities that produce, distribute, or purchase generic prescription drugs. All of us, regardless of where you come from in the state or what party you're affiliated with, want our constituents to have safe and um, cheap drugs to um, take care of their medical needs. This is just another path uh, going down that road. Uh, we just have one uh, technical clarifying issue uh, related to the definition of uh, generic drugs. Uh, we believe that the definition in the bill should be consistent with the federal definition of uh, generic drugs. That public production of medication is not a new practice. In the United States, California, Massachusetts, and Michigan have all manufactured and distributed vaccines and biologic treatments. Uh, this bill is a lifeline for the 60% of us with a chronic illness. According to the CDC, uh, we need to ensure that all patients have access to affordable drugs and supplies. Uh, one of the only three insulin manufacturers, Eli Lilly, Eli Lilly generated $1.9 billion in revenue from the U.S. in Q2 2020 alone, just from the sale of diabetes drugs. Because this is a, a no-brainer of a bill, in my opinion, um, an estimation. Uh, last year, the legislature passed um, the insulin copay cap bill, but of course, as Maddie Johnson noted previously, this is um, that that bill is helping um, diet people who depend on insulin in our state. But it doesn't do anything to get down the prices for everybody who and people who don't have insurance. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by MLT News, covering the 2021 legislative session.